Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. Now I realized at the end of last episode that my officer ratio was starting to plummet, so I took care of that off screen. I did a little bit of troop movements over here off screen. I also realized why the the uh, uh, Austro-Hungarians are giving me a little more trouble than I anticipated. Serbia didn't declare war on them. So they don't have any troops over here, which means they have all these troops free over here. And I was sitting here staring at the French border going, why are you fucks doing nothing? Nothing at all. But uh, we're going to do the best we can, and I'm going to do my best to not get pissy. Although I am promising nothing. Falling back to positions I'm hoping are more defensible. Hoping. I don't know. And I'm just praying that there are no overruns. If I suffer overruns, we're in, in deep trouble. Um, I'm, I'm falling back from plains and forests into marshes and uh, river crossings. I hope, hope, hope that'll make a difference. Um, gonna have to retreat here. Got nothing to got nothing to defend with here, so we're gonna have to retreat here as well. Gonna have to pull back a lot. Oh boy, this is gonna get ugly. It's gonna get real ugly before it gets pretty. Might end up losing this, but um, I just wanted to play as Russia to see how it would work out. I wanted to give World War One mod another chance, giving it another chance. It's not not really loving it, but we're gonna do the best we can. Just feel like it's not balanced very well is the thing. All right, what do we got here? What kind of this is plains, forest, forest, plains. Seems like we're okay right here, but we do have oodles of troops there. How fast are they losing organization? Oh Jesus Christ. Barely, they're barely, barely losing organization. Mine's just plummeting. Cavalry can retreat out. They're, they're, they've just blasted holes in my line. There's very little... Uh, if, I feel like there's very little strategic gameplay and very little to actually do in the World War One mod, unfortunately. Um, I mean, you basically... There's not much to do pre-war because the IC levels are very, very low. It looks like we're going to lose this battle. Maybe. Man, all those divisions just got wrecked. Lines are so thin in places. Oh, even the places where the lines are thick, it doesn't like it's not like it makes that big of a difference. Hmm, it's hard to want to keep playing the game when you're not having fun. But we'll 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 keep going. I'll try to keep my my bitching to a minimum. We have nothing but cavalry standing there. Um. There's no infantry anywhere left. It's all right here, but it's... 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 It needs organization. It needs, its or it needs to rest. Need to rest. I'm hoping that these are d better defensive positions. The problem is, is if I fall too far back, this this strong position I'm in right here would falter if I, f if I fall back too much. And I do not want that. I do not want to have to give up any more land that I than I have to, really. That's right here. Shore bombardment. I feel like that should do do the trick against these guys. Oh, I don't know. I don't. Ha I barely have any organization. I'm glad I kept the cavalry. They've um, proved beneficial, but only only just, only just. Uh, no, nothing's coming off the production queue for a good long while. So we're just going to have to do what we can with what we got. Land Doctrine, Assault Concentration finished up. Um, boop, 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 right there. Oh, this is just so rough. 
Persian oil fields. Well, that well, apparently we lost Persia. It's the United Kingdom. Oh, the no. Wait, what's going on here? Honestly, I have no idea. It's like the Ottomans are taking out North Africa. I don't know what happened with the Italians. French are sitting on their hands doing nothing. Alright, where was that attack? That was right here. We got more troops heading in there, though. That's okay. Uh, we fell back here. So these troops... Oh, these are cavalry. Um... Well, we'll let, let, let's... Let's throw them in here, try to help out. Elastic defense, HQ organization, tactical withdrawal, elastic defense, backhanded blow. Alright, that'll help out the infantry a little bit, I think. In the field. Oh, this is... Oh, no! Oh, isn't that marsh... No, that's plains. I thought that was marshlands. Marsh, plains, marsh. Oh, God. Oh, we're just two to one here, I think. Yeah. So, what do we do here? Hey, gotta... Stretching our lines out. We have to abandon decent defensive positions because they're getting flanked. Might end up losing this, but if we lose, so be it. At least we tried. You know, it's it's decently strong down here. It's decently strong. Oh god. At least I thought it was. Hoy. It's just it's it's so hard to like when one division can just wreck your army. All right, all right, so... Where are we now? Losing provinces, lost that one. Uh, I think we can hold out here. For lucky, that's forest, so we get a defensive bonus. 200 to 49, that should be pretty good. I mean, that should be barely scratching us, I feel. I don't know, they're... No, nope, we, we lost that one, too. God damn it. Ugh. I mean, we're, we're putting up a, as best of a defensive as we possibly can without... The, the, the problem is, is that if you, wait, if you wait in combat till your units crack, you're boned. Alright, that, that province is unsustainable. It got flanked. If you wait until you break... German blueprint stolen, repair rate... Then you're in, you're in a dire situation. That marshland, that's marsh. All right, so terrain minus forty six percent. That could nope, not making the slightest bit of difference. Look at that, not even scratching them. God damn it! All right, well, oof. all right. This is what I was talking about. If you wait until your units are gone, then it's just going to be routes, routes, and routes, and routes. That's unsustainable. That one's unsustainable. Uh, I thought we had infantry moving in here. How fast is that going up? Oh, it's creeping. Put up a mighty defense, please. We need to slow the Germans down. 48... So, I mean, their, their organization's not that much higher. It's 11 points higher than mine. Which is, I'm assuming... Is that right here? I'm assuming that's from... Uh, the Schlieffen plan uh, attack modifier. Delay, doctrine, advance. GQ soft attack, morale, morale, arty morale. Morale, counter barrage, delay, masterful breakthrough, okay. So, I'm getting a lot of this land stuff done. Which is good. And that was... There. Come on, France. Attack!
Come on, beat their asses. You can do it, France. I have faith in you. I mean, we have technically we haven't lost that much land. They've pushed us back across the front, but it hasn't been ridiculous. Kind of hoping that some of these cities we can anchor on, the cities and the rivers. And there's not much to do other than hold the front lines as best we can and hope that with time, things go, uh, work in our benefit. All right, what's happening here? No, we're, we're, I think we're fine here. Two German divisions versus all these. Well, for starters, let's uh, so we don't give ourselves a false sense of security. Let's bring the, the HQs out of there. Let's bring them back a little bit. And we have a very large amount of, of units in this city right here that are fresh and ready to go. Let's take, say, let's leave three in the city and let's move the other ones north. Oh, God. Thought we had them here. I'll retreat. Uh, counterattack. Come on, we got we got this. We got this. Alrighty. So we had oh god, four divisions cracked. We slow them down at least. Feel like we can slow them down. And then there's the. Oh, we actually won that. We won a battle! Time for a victory parade, I feel. Hunt. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, that's not a sustainable. Uh, Look at that. That's not sustainable. We got to retreat out of that. They're able to hit me from so many different directions that, I mean, even if it's just... I mean, it was like 100% to 100%, 100% to 100%, even with massive numbers on my side is a loss for me. Alrighty, let's just keep, keep falling back. We'll try to do it orderly. If we can launch counterattacks, we will. I mean, I think that was the one over near East Prussia, near Memel. Well, right next to Memel. Uh, that was the first successful counterattack we've launched, I think. I mean, it's very quiet down here. Uh, but there are very large concentrations of troops down there, so maybe that's why. It's a shame. I I'm really bummed out. Well, hopefully this holds. Um, I sent some troops forward beforehand to dig in. Alright, so we lost that one, took that one. Not a big deal. I keep going over here to France, hoping that they would have broken through the German lines or drawn some German troops off. Huh. Would you look at this? the hell is going on? Uh, maybe we can distract them by throwing... by, by, by messing with the Ottomans? A successful front! Alright, so we're getting counterattacked here. By the second Stormtrooper Division. Not surprising, but what we're gonna do is try to wear them out, uh, wear them out, and then if this gets too bad, we'll retreat. But right now, we're wearing them out pretty well, which is good. I'm seeing sections of the line where the Ottomans are holding. I like that. I think things are starting to slow down. I think the Germans pulled troops away to fight France, and things are slowing down a little bit. Um, sections of the line are being held by Austro-Hungarian troops. Which is great for me. Uh, militia, not too afeard of them. Like, those are elite units, but 
It's just one elite unit. Well, there's two in there. Um, we could we can push back out of that. We can hit it from multiple sides, get a good combat width going. I see I see fewer German German troops here. Um, they're hitting us here pretty hard, uh, but that's okay. Reinforcements are coming in. Fresh units. Uh, let's actually divert two of these to a different theater. Getting our organization back. We won, so they, they, they uh, abandoned their counterattack. Battle of Plunge here. Is that what it was? Plunge. Alright, making some progress. Counterattacks are succeeding. Local counterattacks, at least. Uh, I don't know if the feared Russian winter is going to help me out here or what, but... Um, let's see. I'd really love to hold this province right here. It's kind of a, a linchpin in the line. So we're going to hold out not one step back. We won. We won. We won the battles. All right. They're launching another counterattack. This time inland, it looks like, so they don't have to deal with the ships. Nope. Nope. They're still dealing with the ships. And we just have more numbers than them there. Okay. And what's happening down here? Ooh, uh, let's actually cancel these because they moved troops in. But, I mean, they're, we're just... Our allies are doing something, which is weird. Not used to that. We have three divisions here. Azerbaijani. Um, can... Can you maybe do something with them? My friend, thank you. Sorry about the interruptions. Got pets to deal with right now. My poor little puppy got um, got spayed the other day. So she's got the cone of shame on. Alright, we won again. Okay, I think we stalled them. I think the initial... Sh maybe the Schlieffen modifier wore off. I actually don't know what the Schlieffen modifier is, but... I mean, for a hot minute there, there was literally no attacks on the front. And what we got going here? They're attacking with like one or two divisions at a time, which is fine by me, because I'm winning Cypress Annexation. Oh, more I see. Yay for me. Industry. Oh, I think we ground them to a halt. All right, let's take the make sure we take the HQs out of there. Uh, this is a rough battle right here, but I think we're we're holding. I think we got to a position position in the lines where we can hold them back. I don't know if, if it was modifiers. It sounds strategic. I, I, I'm kind of laughing to myself saying that. It sounds strategic moves? I don't feel like that's that's me all over. Do, do you feel like that's me? Sounds strategic moves? The longer the war goes on, the better it is for me, though. I mean, even our autonomy change stopped. It was plummeting. Now, now it's pretty... Pretty narrow. Pretty narrow margin there. We actually launched successful local counterattacks. We fell back to defensive positions that work pretty well. That is just great. We know it's there's no attacks on the front right now. Supplies, reinforcements, upgrades are all going out. Uh, I got more infantry on the bottom here. They're pretty pretty intent on taking this province back, but the uh, the big guns of the Soviet fleet are keeping keeping that at bay. Do we have anything? We have a transport in there for some reason. There are are there any submarine? We have submarines over here. Can we? Can't go that far. How far can they go? This far? No. What if we move them 
to Riga. Can they... That's a lot closer. I can't believe we survived. I honestly thought we were going to fall back all the way to Petrograd slash St. Petersburg. Alright, we're going to convoy right over here. See if we can hit anybody. The, the big guns of my pre-dreadnoughts are holding the Germans at bay. Every time they attack here, they get a minus 25% modifier. Oh, I just got infantry organization, too. Haven't seen it kick in yet. There it goes. Went from 37 to 45. Nice. Now, are we actually getting any... We are sinking some German ships. We're losing some over here, too, but... Is that a big deal? Not really. It's small numbers. There we go. Where was it? Industry. Uh, land. Doctrine. It was infantry warfare right there. That's an important one. Oh, boy. Well, that's a big attack right there. That's this one. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? The shit happened there. Was there an attack rolling there that entire time that I wasn't that I didn't see? Okay. Um fuck. That's not good. Lack of supplies. Minus 50%. Maybe for Russian supplies. Well, I didn't know I didn't know that. Uh, I didn't even notice. I thought we were completely stable there. Supplies are not getting through here. Um, we're gonna have to retreat. I'm hoping this city will hold. Is that up here again? Yeah. Jesus Christ, dudes, give it a rest. Getting that infantry organization back up. It's taking a long time. But that's okay. Uh, what, what kind of terrain are we? We're, we're in solid forest here. And they're pushing us back towards the Pripet Marshes. So, terrain's on my side. The rest of the line is quiet as the grave. You guys can beat yourself half to death against these dug-in cavalry. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say these cavalry uh, assumed the German positions um, and and then dismounted and. They dismounted, and they, uh... They, they, they're fighting on foot now, and there's not actually cavalry battles happening. So what is the problem here? Supplies are not getting down through here. That's the problem. That's a big problem. Probably wouldn't have lost those battles if that wasn't happening. This is an interesting little development we got going here. Would you guys help me out? You have three, f like, th we're, we're on the razor's edge. You have three fresh divisions right there. Help me out, bud. Don't I technically, like, own you? Organization creeps along. Very static over here. Not much has happened. A couple provinces changed here and there, but that's it. I hate that we lost those provinces. Those were good defensive positions. But we do have a lot of infantry here. Uh, they've been digging in for nine days. Got a little bit of organization coming. When am I going to get the next level of, like, digging? Trench warfare. Ugh. Does that, is that going to increase it from 11 to 12? Is that all it does? Because that's not a very big defensive measure right there. It doesn't do a whole lot. Is there anything we could do to get them on our side? That's them right there, right? Serbia. K. 
can't invite them to the faction because I don't have that right. Kind of have to wait, wait and see what happens. At least things have stabilized. I mean, a very much so. The lines are quiet. I mean, it is. I mean, there's no battles taking place right now. Well, there's there's one. And then, again, that's the blood fields of Palanga. They're not gonna. Not, now that we have troops dug in there, they're not gonna break through. It's not gonna happen. Uh, in early January, uh, huge rounds of artilleries are gonna come off the production queue. And they're all gonna go out, all out to the men. A lot of, it looks like most of the upgrades have gone through. And I think we're gonna leave this right here. We ground the, the German, Austro, the Central Powers, um, you know, 1914 offensive, ground it to a halt. Uh, our, our officer ratio is going back up. We're getting our organization back. We're in strong defensive positions. And while there was two episodes of me whining and bitching, uh, now there is some episodes of me being positive. Hey, look at who showed up. Well, maybe somebody else. Uh, the Azerbaijani division there. Thank you, guys. Well, anyway, if you have enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus plays, Heart of Iron 3, just subscribe to this channel, and I will see you next time.